So as part of the uh, presentation about the end of life and sustainability, we're going to speak about carbon fiber. So uh, first of all, I'm going to cover sustainability end of life. So what recycling reuse means, how the end of life sustainability is linked to the manufacturing sustainability and the use sustainability, the usage of high performance lightweight materials, especially carbon fiber and recycled carbon fibers. And I'll finish with the challenges and some case studies. So I found this uh, definition of sustainability in the Cambridge Dictionary, and it's very environmental focus. It's forgetting a bit the social and economic aspect of sustainability. And on the end of life part, it more or less means that it's the industry's responsibility to recycle and reuse the recycled material. Um, we need to connect end of life sustainability with uh, vehicle manufacturing and lifetime sustainability. In those, uh, in those parts, one of the main aspects is to reduce the uh, con energy consumption and also the gas emission. And that can be done by the use of high performance lightweight materials such as aluminum composite materials, which includes carbon, glass, etc. A case study done by McKinsey and Company suggests that a cost target of less than five euros per kilo, uh, per kilo of weight saved is realistic, mostly for upper medium executive type of cars and even for medium and small series. Looking at high performance lightweight materials, so on this graph you have aluminum carbon and recycled carbon fiber. Those values are from 2017. Um, per ton of material, less GHG emissions are emitted by recycled carbon fiber than aluminum, and the difference is even bigger for carbon fibers and recycled carbon fiber. So if we look at carbon fiber itself, um, on the graph you can see that the majority of the emission comes from the manufacturing stage of carbon fibers. If, you, if we were to add steel on that graph, it would be similar to recycled carbon fiber initially, but the, it would drastically increase more uh, during the use phase. Um, recycling requires only a tenth of the energy necessary to, necessary to uh, produce carbon fibers, and it's also giving us like a great motivation on the LCA point of view to use recycled carbon fiber. If you look at the price, because it's, it's a good thing for the environment to be sustainable, but it also needs to be economically sustainable too, for, especially for the automotive industry. So the graph that you have on the left is the difference of price between virgin and recycled carbon fibers. They are usually around 40% less expensive than virgin carbon fibers. The table on the right side is um, a comparison between what the automotive industry needs and what recycled carbon fiber can offer. So it would be a, a material of around 7.8 pounds per kilo with the products that are suitable for high volume and low production cost, a stable supply chain and a low carbon footprint. If you look at what recycled carbon fiber can do, so we are matching the price uh, Products were made from uh, low-cost, high-volume processes, such as injection and compression molding. 24,000 tons of carbon are already available from manufacturing waste, and it would be less than 10% of the global warming potential impact of virgin carbon fibers. So there's a solution out there to meet the industry needs and also improve sustainability at different stages of a vehicle's life. So what's carbon, recycled carbon fiber? So it's a quick slide explaining that the type of waste that we are receiving, so it's mostly manufacturing waste. We shred everything, so we reduce the size of the different type of waste. We paralyze the fibers, so we more or less burn anything that's not carbon on there, and then chop it, which gives this uh, ball of carbon, like black fibers, which uh, doesn't, like, it's not very, no one wants it like that. So what we focused our work on is to, produ to actually use those recycled carbon fibers and convert them in products that are suitable for high volume manufacturing. So that's the range. I'm not going to go into too much details on that because that would be way too much commercial for today. But that's yeah, giving you an idea of what we do. Another part of sustainability is the supply chain and make sure that 
those materials will be available for long-term contract to make, to make them usable for the automotive industry. So you have on that table the volume expected, the growth in the carbon fiber market, which is um, driven mostly by the industrial market sector, which includes automotive. And that's where our focus was, to make sure that we can meet these new demands, because it's well, like it's well known that we will never be able to produce enough virgin carbon fiber to meet all the needs. So by recycling that product and making it available for people to use it, then we will help meeting the upcoming demands. So to summarize the carbon side, so it's a similar weight saving uh, as virgin carbon with a lower material cost, uh, property is similar, stable source of raw material, significantly, significantly lower global warming impact, and also reduces the, landfill, the waste to landfill footprint. So moving on to challenges, um, what we see as the main three challenges is to set up as a standard the use of recyclable material and the establishment of a recycling path prior to the start of the production of the project. Also set up as a standard the use of recycled carbon metal and recycled in general, and also pick the right metal for the right application. Um, it would be wrong to think that recycled metal can be used everywhere because in the current stage, our product that we have have limited performances compared to virgin carbon fibers in some areas. So you need to be able to think that combination needs to happen, so between recycled and virgin carbon, between carbon composite and metal, depending on the application and what you need out of the material. And all those challenges need to be addressed by the complete supply chain. So in our case, raw material, which is also a recycler, manufacturer, end users and recyclers, and all the industries together. If you look at the waste that we're receiving now, it's aerospace waste, and the aim is to make it usable for the automotive industry. So it can't just be one industry going for it. It needs to be some more collaborative type of work. The first case study, so it's an example of a waste received, received from the aerospace industry that was turned into something that was used to, in the automotive industry. So those panels are a combination of carbon and metal. They are made via very fast, low product, like uh, high volume, low cost processes. 100 sec second cycle time per part, and they cost 30 euros per part. So that's the part you can see on the top. The second case study is actually a closed loop. So it was waste coming from the automotive industry and European OEM. So you can see. Uh, so that was the part that we cut of the full like structure. It was then shredded into smaller pieces that could be treated, then paralyzed, so we removed everything that was in carbon on it. And that can be turned, thanks to the quality of the fibers recovered, into a product for injection molding, and then potentially reuse, or could be reused, for automotive parts. So to conclude on this uh, presentation, uh, there's high performance lightweight material available to help reducing the vehicle's weight and therefore help reducing the energy consumption and gas emissions. Recycled high performance lightweight materials, especially carbon fibers, allow very interesting pounds per kilo weight saving for same performances and have a positive impact on the vehicle's LCA. We, I believe that vehicle sustainability is dependent at many levels, like is dependent at many levels, manufacturing life, end of life, of a change in the material used and a change in manufacturing processes. And this challenge needs to be addressed by the complete supply chain. And we believe that recycling, in our case, recycling of carbon, because for now it's mostly manufacturing waste that's coming from aerospace, but if you look in 20 years when the first major planes all made of carbons are gonna come out of service. It's gonna be the recycling of end of life waste. So that's where we see ourselves in 20 years. <laughs>